we have more in common as human beings than just this past history. Calgary Mayor Jody Gondek, adorned in a ceremonial skirt and earrings, leads an Indigenous-oriented council meeting Monday, the first in Western Canada, according to Ward 6 Councillor Richard Putmans, which included a smudge ceremony and a blessing from First Nation elders, while receiving an update on the permanent memorial for residential school survivors. Don't ostracize us because we, of our history. Um, understand we're trying to fight for our dignity. It was taken away. In September 2023, the city announced that the confluence, formerly known as Fort Calgary, would be the home to the permanent memorial. This temporary site behind me, created three years ago, is located along the steps outside of Calgary Municipal Building. I think it's important to understand that there are so many teams uh, outside the city as well, like the Calgary Library, that are doing amazing things to remind us all of our commitment to Indigenous peoples and truth and reconciliation. The new site is a 10,000 square meter Indigenous gathering place to be located at the confluence. A design competition will be held in September with the final project chosen by a jury and made public in March at an expected cost of between one and five million dollars. Whatever is uncovered and what needs to be done is going to validate not just First Nations, Inuit and Métis. It's, it's important that whatever is uncovered, that it's going to validate our history. In response to the Truth and Reconciliation Commission's 2015 final report, 43 calls to action for the city were identified in 2016, the White Goose Flying Report. To date, they have hosted events, neared construction of the ceremony room in the municipal building, and continue to support awareness training in the public sector. In Calgary, Phoenix Phillips, City News.